International Monetary Fund Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva has confirmed receipt of a request from Egypt for emergency support via a rapid financing instrument. The cash is expected to help Egypt meet immediate needs in terms of balance of payments and to support sectors affected by the coronavirus pandemic as well as the most vulnerable Egyptians. Egypt's Prime Minister says the recent shutdown of the tourism and civil aviation to contain the spread of the virus has been a key factor in this new request for international assistance. In 2019, tourism alone just recovering from several years of political and security instability and Egypt $12.9 billion. Since the popular uprising in 2011 that ousted former President Hosni Mubarak from power, the Egypt economy has experienced difficulties and struggled to recover. Elsewhere, French energy firm Total says it will still continue production of 190,000 barrels per day in its sites in Congo Republic, even after two of its staff tested positive for coronavirus. Total said it activated its pandemic plan after the first case was confirmed to ensure continuity of its activity and was postponing non-routine operations. Contact subjects are systematically identified and placed in isolation while the sites are disinfected on a regular basis. Congo's economy is expected to contract 9% in 2020 due to the coronavirus epidemic and a collapse in oil prices. Finally, Ethiopian Airlines has ramped up its cargo services as one way to boost its revenues after its passenger services came to almost a complete halt due to the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic. The airline says its cargo business has grown at least three times over the past few months and is converting passenger planes to cargo planes to take advantage of the rising trade in cargo businesses. Over the last 10 years, Ethiopian flag carrier has aggressively invested in cargo planes and services facilities, which has finally paid off. Ethiopian airline is involved in transporting hundreds of thousands of tons of medical consignments, mainly from China and the rest of the world, to Africa.